Hey, it was Amy and I'm recording. I should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to Tango Bay Does Art. And in today's episode, we have a special episode here today as we're going to be doing a My Singing Monster OK cosplay for my VTuber avatar. Okay, and we shall be going and showing off what the said monster that I picked, and that is Furricorn, my favorite, you know, My Singing Monster. And I might actually do the pink one as well. Let me know down below if I should do the pink one. And what other, you know, monsters I should do. I do plan on doing a lot of them, I tell you. But I talked about doing this in the most recent episode of our My Singing Monster series. And I thought, you know what, that could be quite fun. That could be quite fun. Now, I need to get a good idea on how sloppy. Okay, so it's kind of like... This. So we might have to shave off some of the edges. And then kind of wrap it down. Wait for it. Bam. Might not have connected, but we can just go like this quickly. Oop. Tell you, I always keep making mistakes. Clean that up just a tad bit there. Bam. That's looking quite nice there. Looking quite grand. And let us go and start to shave off some of the edges, I tell you. We might get a few wood chippings over here. <laughs> uh, I'm making jokes because, you know, okay is a stump. Uh, yeah, I need a big enough one. There. There you go. Whenever I do these, I always have, you know, little marks I leave behind. I always hate those tiny little marks. Bam. There we go. Yeah, that should do. That should do quite nice there. So we're going to have to pick a green, I tell you. And something that I could actually do. I could actually do it. If you let me black out for a sec, I'll go and drag the image, the PNG, of one of these. Probably just one from the game, actually. There we go. And I can just close that. Go like that. Oh, nope. Turn that into minimized version. Drop that there. Put that there. On, you know, caught in your eyes. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what I was going to say there, and then it just oh, went clear out of my head. He is kind of a lot more fuzzier. I don't know if I should make it fuzzier. I could actually do that. Because I might as well just go along these. And just, you know, slowly go outside the lens. Kind of creating like a bush kind of effect. You know what? I've always wanted to do an oaky bush. I guess this is, you know, an oaky bush kind of... <laughs> Uh, I would love to do an Oki Bush one day. Let me know down below, should I do an Oki Bush? I think that'd be a fun idea. Fun idea right there. I want to do more of these Mising Monsters. I talked about this idea a long time ago. Well, not really that long ago. And I'm only now just getting around to it because I thought, you know, in the episode that I did recently, I thought, you know what, I could actually do that, you know. It would not take me too long, as you can already see, you know. We're at, uh, what's the time now? Four minutes. And we're already, like, 20% there. Alright, so we're looking for the internal green. That'd be this kind of green right here. That'd kind of be the one that I want to put on the outside. Before I kind of move it into the middle. We're kind of dragging our feet here with this. We're kind of wanting the little bumps there and there, but we don't want it to have the little, you know, previous green. So I do kind of see it being a nice touch, but at the same time, not really necessary. Not really necessary. Mm. 
There we go. That's not actually too bad there. And I guess I might as well uh, get a bigger brush size so we can just quickly go like this. I'm not going too far to the edges. That's not really the goal, I tell you. I'm kind of preserving what we got, but also so I do not have to deal with the terrible lining problems that happen sometimes. <laughs> Got to make this a little tad bit smaller. Because it needs to fit right under here. There we go. We don't want to lose the mouth because I want to keep the mouth, you know. We're not making an entirely, you know, fur corn here, but, you know, close enough, shall we say. <laughs> uh, it does kind of look like, you know, I've just shoved a bunch of goo. <laughs> it does, you know, Nickelodeon slime over here. Can't believe how old that, you know, slime, you know, stuff is. I always thought, you know, I definitely could not even go near that show. I would be, like, vomiting everywhere back in the day. Uh, I'm talking about if I was actually there. Like, it would be horrible, I know. I really hate slime, you know. Not really hate it. It just, it's a hard, you know, thing to say. Back in the day, it would turn my stomach so bad that I would throw up, and I did actually throw up once. And that was on a path in the back garden of one of the houses that I used to live in. Quite an interesting fact there, I tell you. Why does it look like an ape? You know what, I want to colour it white, I think. Give me grey. <laughs> it looks like I'm creating an ape! I look like I'm a walking, uh... What, what's its name? Not Bigfoot. Yeti, that's it. I look like I'm a Yeti, or a very old okay. You know what, I'm gonna save that. I really enjoy that, that looks so funny. Don't worry, we're still doing the idea, it's just, you know, I'm making this one because, uh, uh it's funny. It is funny. The stuff you notice when you're making something, I tell you. Alright. Yeti. Okay. That has got to be one that I love, you know, for a long, long time. Alright, let me reverse the green for you. Just had to back up a little. Alright. So let me head over to this and grab the actual green that I see here. And we'll wrap this all the way around. Now, I do want to make it more, you know, too attuned. I want to make it more tuned to, you know, a fur corn. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to give it, you know, pink lips. Oops. There we go. It looks a little bit, you know, odd. But, you know, with time, we'll get to look the way that we want it to. Oh, it actually has green lips. I didn't know it had that. I thought it had pink lips. Oh, I'm thinking of uh, Aunt Brat. That's what it is. Eh, should I make it more, you know? I should make it more noticeable. So it's, it's a monster, you know, thing. We'll make it more noticeable. Make it more monstrous. But I would love to do more of these if you're interested in them. I do also have to remember that I do need. Oh, I could do 
I could do that. There we go. And... There we go. That's a good cosplay there, I tell you. But I will also make it larger. I might actually give it a wrinkle on one of the eyelids. It kind of looks a little bit cursed, doesn't it? I think that just makes it all the better. The more cursed, you know, the more heart that's put into it, shall we say. Kind of looks like I'm, you know, pink-eyed. Uh. Sorry if I went quiet. <laughs> Sometimes I just get too focused in on that out that we're creating here. Perfection. How did I not realize it was a bit there? Let me clean that up there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It looks very cursed compared to ah, that, what we're missing. What direction does it go? Ah, okay. So it goes like that and then it comes around. Go like that. And then we'll uh, do that kind of color now. Maybe I should make it darker. Yeah, that seems more attuned to the idea. There we go. Kind of looks like a little weird. Okay, so it goes there and then it goes down. You know, we're being very realistic here. We want this to look the best I can. So the thing is, you're not really looking from it from a up, you know, there perspective. So we're gonna try our best to recreate it. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. We don't have to make it super realistic. Go like that. Pick some of that shading over there. Lining. There we go. Yeah, that's actually looking quite, you know, close to the thing. And make it go down like that. There we go. Now we just need this green. The kind of green that you see on leaves. I wonder, has anyone identified what fur corns, you know, s well, not sapling. What fur corn's tree is actually? I kind of feel like I've seen it before. 
and I could pinpoint it, but it's just on the tip of my tongue that I cannot remember what it's called. I've seen something so similar to it, but it could, you know, make us closer to understanding what a fur corn is. That is something that is very weird. Who knows, maybe a seat fell into its brain. I'm not very tuned on the, you know, lure. And I think that just makes it more ten, you know, more ten times better. I come up with the weird and wacky. And then others come up with the logical stuff. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. That is pretty cool. I really do enjoy that. So, hopefully you enjoyed this, have a nice day, plus as well, move to Russia, think of the very important, and if you want to suggest any uh, more of these, let me know down below. See you.